He definitely announced himself as a bona fide Mr. Olympia contender this weekend. Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video we got a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates. The first one is, of course, about the man of the week, Andrew Jack, or should I say the man of the year, potentially. So what we got today is basically the vice president of the IABB Pro League and the MPC, and also the IABB Pro League head judge, Tyler Mannion, said a couple of very interesting things about Andrew Jack. And I know that everybody is talking about Andrew Jack right now, but it's different when it's coming from regular fans or other bodybuilders and when it's coming from the vice president of the IBB Pro League and also a professional judge. So let me show you what Tyler had to say. I think Andrew made a ridiculous amount of improvements to his overall physique. Everything that basically we had asked of him to see, he definitely accomplished. Size-wise, he, he just he increased his size everywhere while still keeping his waist super small. Overall size of his legs increased the width even the muscularity of his quads definitely came up, so he made sure his physique stayed balanced while his upper body also grew. He definitely added to his biggest weakness, which was his hamstrings. Uh, as you saw in the side poses, he actually had some decent hamstring drop in the side poses, and that's with not even posing them 100% correctly. So even with some more posing adjustments, as is, I think they can look even better. Uh, from the back as well, you saw his overall back turned from what some people saw as maybe a slight weakness into it is now a strength. The, the thickness and the density and the detail back there that he has is definitely up there. You know, now, now in the pro league, I think overall his back poses have become a strength. If they can dial it in just a little bit more for the Olympia, this guy is gonna be super tough to stand next to for everyone. I think he definitely, he definitely announced himself as a bona fide Mr. Olympia contender this weekend. This guy has made the Olympia this year that much more exciting. I think it's gonna be a crazy battle. We're gonna see, obviously we have the top two from the last two years, Hottie and Derek. We know Hottie improved from last year's Olympia. We saw how much because he improved a lot from just the Olympia until the Arnold. Samson made his improvements. He His main thing as well is conditioning. I think if he dials it in, He's gonna be right there with these guys. And then obviously we have the reigning Mr. Olympia Derek, who's put his head down the whole year to be making improvements because he knows that these guys are hot on his heels. So I think at the top, we're really gonna see a crazy, crazy battle. I think Andrew made a huge statement this past weekend. All right, so you heard it, guys. This was very, very interesting. So basically Tyler is saying that Andrew can win the Mr. Olympia. And he is definitely a top contender. That's what Tyler Mannion is saying. And uh, you guys know that I don't necessarily agree with that. That in my analysis video, I still think uh, Derek and Hardy and Samson as well, if you watch those videos of mine, are still a little bit better. But it doesn't really matter what I'm saying. The judge who is actually judging this show and who is also, by the way, the vice president of the entire league, then yeah, yeah, I think Andrew is probably gonna have an actual chance of, you know, even becoming the new Mr. Olympia this year. I mean, it's not unimaginable for me to see him up there receiving the, the Sando, it's, it's possible. But again, I didn't feel that way because I think when he steps on that stage, when he's next to those guys, it's gonna be a little bit different. I don't think Tyler can predict this. Once all these guys are actually on stage, one next to another being compared, then we're gonna know. But right now we can all just, you know, assume. But again, this guy is seeing all these guys in person all the time and he's judging them. So if he's saying this kind of stuff, then it means a lot. That it definitely means a lot. And he's actually comparing him to the very top guys. To Derek and Hardy and Samson. So he's not saying that um, Andrew's gonna fight with uh, Nick Walker for fourth. Or with uh, Brandon Curry for her fifth or whatever. No, no. He's actually comparing him to the top three guys. So yeah, Tyler Manning definitely has Andrew Jack as the potential winner of this year's Mr. Olympia. How crazy is that? And he's acknowledging all the progress that Andrew made in this past offseason. And if you guys watched my video about this, 
you're gonna see actually what kind of progress Andrew made and he did make a ton of progress basically everywhere in his physique so the judges will notice that on that stage what Tyler said is that Andrew just needs to bring a little bit sharper conditioning with the same fullness is that possible can he do it well I think he has enough time to work on that and he can probably pull it off However, the record shows that he is not at his best, usually he's not at his best at a Mr. Olympia. He only brings it for the qualifiers, for the Arnold Classic and so on, but for the Mr. Olympia it never happened so far. Will this year be different? Well, Tyler is saying if it ends up being different, it's very possible that he can win the Mr. Olympia. And I know this puts a lot of pressure on him as well, but hopefully it's just gonna motivate him and he's gonna do whatever it takes and really bring his absolute best on that day. And if he does that, if Tyler is saying he can win and he is the one who is judging the show, then yeah, it doesn't matter what I think, what you think, what whoever thinks, Andrew Jack can become the next Mr. Olympia. But can this guy right here do it as well at some point in the future? Regan Grimes. Well, I mean, we all know he has the tools, genetically, he has the potential, he has the structure, he has the shape, he has the ability to put on the muscle, he can get lean enough, but is he doing all it takes? So we got a physique update from him as well, in his off-season, as you can see, he is looking definitely very chubby, and he says, take your time, meaning... I'm thinking my time. Off-season can be challenging because my love for competing, but it's necessary to reach my goal. 2025 season is going to come fast and I can't wait to hit the stage again. So at least now we know, Regan Grimes is gonna be competing next year, he's not retired, he's not gonna skip the 2025, at least he says so right here. And right now it's his off-season and he hates it because he enjoys competing and so on. But he did say that he doesn't compete because he wants to focus on, on his wife and his uh, uh, soon-to-be-born child, I believe. So this is him right now, and uh, his weight actually dropped. He did not gain any weight since his last update. Last time we saw him, he was 300 pounds, and now he's 297. And as you can see, somebody commented, 330 pounds, you can do it, and he says it's too much. And 330 pounds is realistically what he needs, what Regan needs to be at. At his height, he needs to be like Samson Dowda size in the offseason, and Samson is like almost 350 in the offseason. So 300 pounds is not gonna do it, he's not gonna win the Mr. Olympia if he's 300 in the offseason. He was 300 the offseason before, like last year. And I think he said at one point that he's gonna try and like stay at the same weight at around 300 pounds and try to, I don't know, recomp his body, just get tighter at that weight and not really put on uh, too much size. But I don't know, man. I, mean, I, I haven't really seen this happen uh, too often. You know, guys staying the same weight in the offseason and then showing up uh, bigger, much bigger on the stage and showing crazy improvements. That's probably not gonna happen. And He's 300 pounds right now, it's not exactly super tight, you know, he's, he looks good for the offseason. This is the kind of conditioning he should maintain for the offseason, but he needs to be heavier. Right now he looks like, basically like he looked uh, 10 years ago when he went to Kuwait and those guys pushed him to get to 300 pounds and this basically was uh, his conditioning. Very similar to what we're seeing today in his updates and uh, back then he didn't like the way they were doing things in Kuwait so he went back home, apparently they were pushing him a little bit too much, like uh, he was eating a lot of food, like too much food and uh, he looked like this, again, 300 pounds just as right now, same conditioning pretty much if you ask me, but this was like 10 years ago. I mean, obviously he's better now, he has more maturity, like he, you know, added some details in some smaller body parts, but like, as far as the overall size, if he wants to get to the Samson Dow level of size and like be one of the top guys, he needs to push things harder, this is not cutting it, in my opinion at least. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below. Oh, and next up, we got a physique update from the future, forever future, I guess, Patrick Moore. And this is basically his comeback, his, I don't know, 10th comeback so far. So he, I mean, he's doing the Legion Sports this year, which is the qualifier for the Mr. Olympia 2025. You won't see him this year on the Mr. Olympia stage. And are we gonna see him next year? Well, I mean, I know only one guy, one top bodybuilder who is doing the Legion Sports, but as far as uh, Patrick Moore, did he make, like, some serious progress? 
I mean, he was kind of pushing this offseason with his new coach, Don Cardone. So yeah, I'm expecting he made some progress, but honestly, he looks very similar to what he always looked like. If he made some progress, it's not a crazy amount of progress. And I am seeing a little bit more fullness in the legs especially, which kind of was his weakness. But we'll see how much of the fullness will stay once he gets lean enough. I mean, this is great conditioning for, I don't know, like 8 weeks out... But he definitely does need to get leaner, and uh, in the process, he's gonna lose some of his size. So, in the end, it's probably gonna be very similar to what we saw uh, last time he was on stage. But maybe this time around, he actually nails the conditioning, he has enough time to nail the conditioning, like he did back in 2019. And if he does that with his shape, with his structure, sure, I can see him win that show, but his opponent at that show is Brett Wilkin. Maybe somebody else jumps in as well, but this is his main competition. Who would I bet on? Pfft, I mean, I think Brett is bigger. I think he's just rounder, thicker. He looks like a like a really good bodybuilder. You know, Patrick is like somewhere in between between classic and bodybuilding. Of course, he was standing the Mr. Olympia. He won pro shows or one pro show. I'm not sure, but um, yeah, the, the Brett's definitely much bigger. So. I would probably bet on Brett. He also won pro shows or one pro show, I'm not sure. And once again, he's bigger. He's a lot bigger. And his conditioning at this point is also very good. So I believe he's gonna be spot on for the Legion Sport. It's gonna be a group it's gonna be a great competition for sure. These two guys are very close to each other. Maybe somebody else, somebody even better than them, uh, jumps in, but as of right now, this is the top two most likely. It's gonna be an interesting show, for sure, though. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. For more content like this, guys, stay tuned, subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon, guys. All the best, and bye-bye.